This is Dr. Gregory Sharlop, and welcome to my show. And I'm going to teach you in an easy to understand and fun way, I hope, how the new coronavirus vaccine works. And you'll learn all about it because it's different than other vaccines that are on the market now. So stay tuned. This is a live show. So bear with me. We're going to make it fun. We're going to make it interesting. All right. So first of all, let's just take a quick look here. So this is my drawing of a virus, all right? So a virus, the way a virus works is it goes into your body and inside the virus is some genetic material like DNA or RNA. These are instructions for your cells. And the virus goes into your body, it attaches to your cells and it hijacks them. And it reprograms your cells to make its own viral proteins. And then the virus makes baby viruses right out of your own cells and reproduces. So that's how viruses work. Now, let's take a look at how you resist viruses. So you resist viruses a few ways, but one of the main ways is by creating these things called antibodies. Antibodies are things your immune system makes to fight off infections like viruses. And so what happens is you've got these little tips here in the antibodies and they stick on to viruses. And then your immune system realizes that these viruses are bad and that they're invaders and your immune system is then ready to spring into action and destroy these viruses. Now the trouble is you don't make antibodies unless you've been exposed to something. Your body needs to see something first and then it knows to make these antibodies. And then when it sees it again, it's ready to go into action. Or if it's been infected for a while, you start making the antibodies and eventually you get rid of something. So what we wanna do with vaccines is we wanna trigger our immune system to make antibodies to stuff before you get the bad infection. So for example, if you have the chickenpox vaccine or the polio vaccine, the idea is that you get exposed to the vaccine, you teach your bodies to make antibodies, and then if you actually get exposed to the real polio or the real chickenpox, your immune system's ready to go, it's, it's primed and ready to fight. Now, before we get into how the coronavirus vaccine works, I just wanna show you how current vaccines work. And there's two common models. So the first common model is that you get injected with a weakened version of the virus. So you take the virus that you're worried about, like chickenpox or polio, you make a weak version of it, one that won't make you sick but can still reproduce, you put it into a vaccine and you inject it. Now your body clobbers this weak virus, it makes antibodies to it, and then if you get exposed to the real virus later, you're ready to go. The other way to do it is you can make virus particles or you grow viruses, usually in eggs, you crush them up, you grind them up, you kill it, and you take these little bits of viruses, you inject these little bits into your body, and then your body's ready to fight it because it's primed to fight those little bits. And that's the way the flu vaccine and a number of vaccines work. Now, what's the problem with that, with the coronavirus? Well, the trouble is that these things, they're slow to produce. You have to grow the virus. It takes a long time. It takes a lot of work. You have to grow tons and tons of virus and it's just really slow to make. And so, it's not so great to make if we're in a rush, which is what we are now. So instead of that, here's how the virus works, the, the new, the new um, vaccine against coronavirus works. It's called an mRNA vaccine. And what it does is it teaches your own body how to make little bits of virus protein. Your cells produce these, they spit them out into your body. And then these little bits of virus protein that your own cells made trigger your immune system to fight against the virus and to create the antibodies. I know it sounds crazy, but instead of us making the viral proteins in the lab to trigger your immune system, this uses something called mRNA to teach your own cells how to do this. Now, you may remember this from high school biology. I'm just gonna give you a little, a little example here. So you remember you've got a cell these are your cells, and inside the cell is the nucleus. The nucleus is kind of like the nerve center, the brain center of your cell, and there's DNA there. And the DNA has the code for all the proteins and all the stuff your body makes. Now, when your cell's ready to make a protein, the DNA 
gets transcribed into something called RNA. And then it goes out into the rest of the cell and the RNA works with the cellular machinery. It makes proteins, all right? Now, here's what the new Pfizer vaccine does. The Pfizer vaccine, you get the vaccine and the Pfizer vaccine actually injects virus mRNA and it makes it so it can go into your cells. And this virus mRNA goes into your cells and it activates your cellular machinery and causes your cell to make bits of virus protein. So instead of taking all the time it would take to make this in the lab, your own body makes this stuff. And that way, when you have these little bits of virus protein, you are ready to go with antibodies that are gonna go and fight the virus. So this is a pretty miraculous thing. It's an amazing way that we're using normal cellular machinery like DNA and RNA to go fight a virus without having to grow tons of it in the lab, but it's much faster than usual things. If you find this useful, please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share this video. And if you have questions, leave them in a comment and I'll do my best to answer your questions. This is Dr. Gregory Charlotte and thank you for watching.